Welcome to NIMS and Associates Snapshot for Acumatica's Engineering Change Control Management System. In today's episode, we're going to cover engineering change requests and engineering change orders, which are part of the engineering change functionality in Acumatica. Acumatica's change management system is a two-tiered system for tracking changes to builds and materials. The change management system consists of change requests and change orders. Change requests ultimately become change orders. Engineering change request. A change request in Acumatica represents the formal request of an engineering change to a bill of material. Engineering change requests are often known as ECRs. ECRs can utilize Acumatica's robust approval and workflow engine. ECRs eventually become change orders. Change orders is what updates bills and materials and revs the revision on bills and materials. Let's take a look at the engineering change request. Engineering change requests and engineering change orders are both under the bill of materials workspace in Acumatica. The engineering change request option allows us to look at and review previously processed change requests and change requests that are in process. We can see here that we've got a list of change requests. Some are pending approval. Some have been rejected. Some have been approved. When a ECR, engineering change request, gets approved, it can move to the next step in the process, which is an engineering change order. To create a new engineering change request, hit the plus at the top of the screen. And an Acumatica form appears. Select the bill of material that you'd like to process an engineering change request for. If necessary, check the bill of material revision number. Keep in mind that when a engineering change order is processed and pushed to the bill of materials, Acumatica is going to process a revision change. On the engineering change request, there is some important information. For example, the effectivity date. The effectivity date is the date that's going to be used by Acumatica for the creation of production orders. Acumatica looks at the effectivity date, and if as long as there's an effectivity date that doesn't supersede this date, then this bill, this bomb, is the one that's going to be selected. On the engineering change request, you can see that Acumatica has brought up the bill of material. To record changes, I'm going to save this ECR, this request for a change of order. And then I'm going to make a changes as appropriate. So in this case, I'm going to add an hour of setup time. And I'm going to add a new part number to the work center WC70 for operation 0010. Notice that Acumatica has highlighted in bold the lines that have changed. That makes it easy for a review. Another tool that Acumatica has for people that are going to be reviewing this change request is the compare bomb. What this feature does is compare the changes to what the original bomb was. So you can see that we've made a change to the actual step. And so we've got a orange highlighted there. And you can see that we've put in a new item. And this new item doesn't appear on the original. It's a, a nice little tool for reviewers of change requests to use. When the engineering change request is ready, the user submits it. This engineering change request is going through an approval process. Acumatica's got a robust approval process that can be applied to lots of documents, but especially useful for engineering change requests and engineering change orders. This one has to be approved by Maxwell Baker or anyone in the executive group. 
since I belong to the executive group, I'm just going to go ahead and approve it. From this screen, I can create the engineering change order. There's two ways to create the engineering change order. I could navigate to the change request and create the ACO from here. Or back on the bill of materials menu, under processes, I can create ECOs from a process screen. Changing it from the process screen sometimes is a better way to do it because there's an additional option that allows you to merge engineering change request into a single engineering change order. It's a very good feature for merging and combining engineering change requests into a single ECO. So in this case, I'm just going to approve the ECR that we've just created. And I'm going to process it. Engineering change orders. ECRs, engineering change requests, eventually become ECOs. You can enter ECOs without an ECR. Engineering change orders update the actual bills of material to record significant changes to the bills of material. ECOs can also use Acumatica's robust approval and workflow engine. ECOs use effectivity date and revision numbers. When an ECO is released, Acumatica is going to rev the bomb, in other words, assign it a new revision number, and institute the effectivity date that was in place on the ECO. Engineering change orders are found on the Bill of Materials workspace. Change requests become change orders, but you can create a change order without a change request. When a ECR gets created and turned into an engineering change order, it comes into the system on hold. Let's take a look at the one we just created a moment ago. If I was an approver or somebody reviewing this, the first thing I would notice is that operations and inventory items at an operation are highlighted as to the changes that are going to take place. The convenient compare bomb feature on the engineering change order allows managers, approvers, to see what changes have been made. In this case, we're adding a new item to the bill of material that doesn't appear on the original. If everything looks good, this can be submitted, in which case the approval system is going to kick off. Since I'm a, a member of the executive work group, I'm just gonna go ahead and approve this. Once it's been approved, this engineering change order can be committed to the bill of material. During the process of committing the engineering change order to the bill of material, Acumatica calls up the bill of material with its new revision number. Note that this bomb had a revision A before, but now it's creating revision B. Note also that the start date for this change order is on 415. If all appears well, it can be taken off hold and saved. If you like this snapshot, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.